AD. Mm. Everybody thought this this um, draft, this lottery, and this draft is about Zion. It, it is, in a sense, but it's really about AD. What Zion comes first, it is. Everybody wanted Zion. But now it's about the AD sweepstakes. What happens with AD? We all know that New Orleans wanted him to stay. The impossible happened. They get the number one pick. Now it's choices to be made. H.O., as the Pelicans, if you're the Pelicans, do you really pitch something to AD to where to I try to try to convince him to stay, or is it now you're listening to offers? Um, cause wait, cause you don't want to. If someone, if you're trying to get a draft pick, you don't. I mean, do you want to wait to after during halfway of the season and say, okay, we're going to trade him? Or what? What do you do? You you got to go ahead and listen. He's not going to sign back. I mean, let's be real. He's not going to sign back. I think if you do try to sign him, it's upwards to two hundred and forty million dollars. Now, go ahead, go ahead and go ahead and trade him. Get what you need uh, to try to 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 build your organization uh, the way that you want to build it. Uh, I think getting you know having the number one pick and picking Zion could could is a is a great reset button. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and see if you can get uh, picks. I think Boston is interested, New York, the the Lakers, obviously. Which package could be your best package? I just think you should you should be able to go out and and and, and find some some packages that that would uh that would kind of work for your your organization. So I I don't think that um yeah I don't think that you you need to sign him back or, or I don't even think you even pitch it. Just just go ahead and and everybody just. So so basically, you're saying don't even think about. Don't even don't even don't don't even entertain. So you don't. Okay, so as AD, so we go back to New Orleans. So as if you're AD, you don't think that this should kind of, um, I don't know, pique your interest just a little bit? Listen, you, you, AD got picked number one in 2012, right? Right. It's 2019. What, what, what has the Pelicans done? Not true. Not, uh, they, done had, they had Boogie Cousins on the same team. They've had some some uh, some some pieces. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, last year they had run. Last year they 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 made a move. Last year they they made a playoff run. It was very very interesting. But at this particular point in time, you already AD wearing the that's all folks. I mean, it, it, the, the signs are there. I mean, it's almost like in a relationship. You see the reds when you see them them red signs. <laughs> Let it go. Let's let, let, pay attention. The red flags. You the need red to let flags. Let's let's go. Let, I mean, pay attention. So it is what it is. So it's no even sense of trying to even entertain that. Two hundred and forty billion. No, no, you're not even in the market for that. Uh, I think now that there, there, I mean, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time Thank before you. they trade it. It's just a matter of time because. If they were going to, the reason why it looks bad is because they should have traded him uh, before the All Star break this season, and some people think that hey maybe they should have traded him last off season, right? But they messed around and made it to the second round, mm-hmm. so <laughs> they think they could keep this thing going, but um, they didn't bring they 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 let Boogie walk and. And then there were some other injuries and everything. So uh, they overachieved, and then they like kind of fell into that trap of, well, maybe we can do some. Maybe we're contenders now. Uh, and it's a place that he didn't want to be. He's had a lot of injuries there. The staff, the medical staff that was there, had a terrible reputation <laughs> because they also work with the Saints. <laughs> But they're they're they, they've all been fired. And way, to, brought, way to jab him, G. Way to jab him. Yeah, right. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. And they uh, they brought in people from Phoenix, even though like Phoenix has like a great uh, medical staff, or at least a reputation of a great medical staff, even though it doesn't result in winning any games. But they brought some Phoenix Suns people mm-hmm. in, 
but that's not going to be enough to convince him to stay. Uh, New Orleans is a struggling basketball city. They are struggling to keep that team there, and the NBA is working as hard as they can to keep that team there. Even when they ran the team, that's when they got the number one pick to get Anthony Davis. Right. And I think that's why I still think the draft is rigged because this was to, oh, maybe getting Zion will convince Anthony Davis to stay. It's not going to convince No, him. it's, it, it's <laughs> getting Zion is maybe we can get enough people to get a, a, a bigger market for New Orleans because remember, once they sold that team in 2012, they got the number one pick. They was promised basically the number one pick in an all-star game. Mm-hmm. They was promised that they've hosted the All Star Game like five times in the last three years. <laughs> and I, I know that don't add up right, but you no, know but what I mean. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. The, the, the NBA has some type of I don't know what it is with this New Orleans thing, but it it is it's crazy. You got to think about it. How 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 do how how would New Orleans get the number one pick out of all these? This is this is just unprecedented at this particular point. So wait, so. But I, I'm saying if – I'm just talking from another side. If AD – if you, you have – now you have um, Zion is going to draw more people there. Right. But now you might start having stars there. People – I don't know if any stars live there, but you might have, you know, the ba- – Cash guess, money. The rappers, cash money, and <laughs> Master P might come. But, uh, but you start having people come in. But then now you might draw that third. You got you have Drew, but you might draw that next player because you might have something. Okay, the, the so pro, the problem with that is he don't want to be there. Right. So okay. So you say get rid of him. Mm-hmm. Now, what are the possibilities? What, what team do you think? Like personally, I believe. I know Boston has a lot. I think. They do. Boston has a lot. But I think with that number four pick for the Lakers and you give him Brandon Ingram, Brandon Ingram I would give him also Lonzo Ball because I think Lonzo Ball would be perfect for Zion and that type of team. Then you put Drew at the two. Mm-hmm. And Hart. I, I know the Lakers are not giving up Kuzma, but Hart. If you can get Kuzma out of it, then you you definitely do that. But I don't see that happening. You still got Julius Randle there in New Orleans. Do you? I He's think that works. Right? Free agent, Julius. I thought he just signed a he just signed a one year deal. Let me check his yeah, I think so. So with, with them, right? Yeah. So I would I would say the Lakers <laughs> look good right now. <clears throat> Lakers, <clears throat> New York, Boston. I think out of those three, he would be one of those. Um, because of the relationship with LeBron, and I, I think they have the upper hand. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure the lore of New York. Yeah, I mean, that organization is just as bad as the <laughs> – I mean, they front office is just as right. bad as, as the Lakers. Right. And I think what's scaring people off is, is, is the front office. Like, I, I, how do you I, – I think – with Magic leaving and LeBron probably not wanting to be there, mm-hmm. that kind of throws a monkey wrench into to AD's, you know, thing. And then you look in New York, Dolan, he, he'd rather be playing in the band or, what you know, right. traveling with the band instead. Of, so Boston may, you know, Boston may come out on top in this situation. But, you know, I, I don't know what – what Danny Ainge is, I don't know how he's recovering from the uh, the stroke or heart right, attack right, or right, whatever right, the case right, may right. be. So I don't know who's running that thing, but I think where they got the 14th pick and a couple of more picks, uh, Kyrie may leave. Uh, you know, do you trade Jalen Brown? Do you trade Jason Tatum? How do you how, – how, what is to offer from, from Boston if Kyrie is not going to be there? So I'm not sure. And if, if – you trade Gordon Haywood and some more pieces. Maybe Kyrie stays, and you get AD with him. I I don't know. It's a what, lot, a lot of moving parts. I I just know that Tatum is very interesting. They, you know, everybody. He's a very good player. I think he's special. Him going to New Orleans with a Zion, with a Drew Holiday, Ooh. and if you can make one more pick Ooh. at a for a point guard, or you just draft a point. I don't know. Maybe with the 14th pick. 
I don't. Cody I mean, White not going to be there. I don't know what. Maybe Rozier. Maybe, maybe Rozier. Well, Chicago's interested in him. Look like they about to offer that money to him. But if it was still another way you can get a lot, get Lonzo Ball. What? Out of what, if, what if Rondo come back? Because he's free agent. That, too, that but, that's going to be a problem. But I don't, <laughs> why you say that? I don't, think, I don't think Rondo. He loves to teach, because, but I can't see him going to a young team with. He's going to be a coach anyway. Yeah, he'll, he'll, yeah he's going to be a coach eventually. But why you say it'll be a problem, though? I mean, if him, at this point of his career, I don't think him going to a, a young team or some rebuilding team uh, is ideal for him. As a coach, what do you, you think he going to have? Young player. This is practice. No, I mean, if him as a player. Though. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I feel you on that. I'm talking as a player. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's, okay. He, he, he can be a player coach. Yeah, he'll get 30 assists, but. Yeah. All right. So that wraps up the hot topic. We'll see what happens. I, I'm, man, I'm interested in this. I, this is, like yeah, I said, AD on the move. It's AD. This is the AD sweepstakes now. So yeah. we're going to take a quick break. We, we will be right back. 